How to install VirtualBox in an Apple Silicon machine? So VirtualBox is a powerful and very popular virtualization software that is able to uh, split the resources of our hardware between a different type of operating system. It's able to run Windows, Linux, macOS and Solaris. And now great news, finally it supports Apple Silicon. Apple Silicon is the latest uh, type of processor for uh, all the Apple products that was slightly replacing the Intel processor for this kind of uh, computer. Basically is an ARM processor and finally VirtualBox supports them. So let's jump to the website and uh, we can see that uh, there is a developer preview for macOS with ARM64, M1, M2, M1 Pro, Max and Ultra. So all these type of processor are supported by this uh, developer preview release. The only way that uh, I was finding working on my system is actually downloading from the website because uh, what I really like uh, is usually using Homebrew that is a very popular command line utility that is able to download uh, the software for uh, uh, your system and uh, typing VirtualBox uh, is listing that uh, at the moment support only Intel architecture so if you try to run the command line on your terminal you ended up with a really bad error taking a closer look to the repository i saw that the development team is already working on a virtual box dash beta cask as you can see from this ruby code and as you can see is already Everything up to date, so there is an ARM version with the latest beta 4 of 7.0.6 that it should work. So finger processed for the this cask on our Apple Silicon machine. But for now, the only way is actually downloading the file and do manually the installation. And we are going to do right here and now. Now Finally, the downloaded software is available. I move from my download directory to the desktop and a double click is saying how to actually install the VirtualBox. It's super easy. As you can see, step number one is double click the VirtualBox package icon and follow the wizard. So let me hit continue and it says that it's going to use 188 megabytes on my hard drive. Let me enter the password and everything will be super easy, super fast. This is a wizard procedure, so installation was successful. Yay! So now let me open my application folder. Wow, there are plenty of stuff and search for VirtualBox. And in a blink of an eye, VirtualBox is ready to go. Yes, this is a beta version. As you can see, this is the latest 7.0.6 beta 4. Now we are ready to execute our machine. Let's suppose that we would like to start a Fedora machine. So we need to just hit a new machine. Let me save this system as Fedora. And let me search for the ISO image is the one in my desktop. As you can see, I already downloaded the Fedora release and this is Arch64 release. Let me highlight it because this is the release for ARM processor. If you download the wrong version, it's probably not working. So let me choose the hardware. Oh, let me add at least uh, one gigabyte of RAM and two CPU. Uh, let me, we can do also two gigabyte, so 2048. And ready to go, two gigabyte of hard drive, probably need more. Let me give at least a 10. Just be able to be comfortable to start up our 
installation.